बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रहमान डिजिटल प्रोडक्शन दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर नाइन्टी फोर्थ ऑफ फिजिक्स इट इज द टाइम टू टेस्ट आवर नॉलेज अबाउट वट एवर वी गेंड इन द प्रीवियस थियोरेटिकल पोर्शन एज यू नो द स्टाइल of exercise is that first we will deal multiple choice questions and then structured questions so the first question in this regard is given as a thin converging lens is used to focus the ray from sun onto a piece of paper when the rays burn a hole in the paper the distance between the lens and the paper is equal to yes there will be this option is the correct one and here we have to fill it with equal to what does it mean there is a lens and this is the principal focus uh parallel rays are coming and they are converging to a point there will be a hole in the paper when it is burnt at this particular point so the distance between the optical center and the hole will be equal to the focal length so in the first part it is not this a option less than half of equal to half of rather equal to is the correct option now the second uh, mcq is saying the diagram shows a lens used to observe a magnified image of a small object at which position should the i be placed in order to see the image clearly so without any hesitation my answer will be d part in last lecture we discussed this scenario in greater detail so there is no need for explanation if you want to see a virtual image on the side of the object then you have to put your i at position d neither at point a neither at point b nor at point c so the position will be at point d and that is the correct answer the diagram number 3 the diagram shows a person attempting to measure the focal length of a lens now it is looking easy but when you are doing it practically it takes a lot of time this is the mirror this i is seeing this nail image through the lens inside this mirror so whenever he is seeing this nail he will have to adjust his or her eye so that he will he or she will see the inverted image of this nail and the junction of these two nails will be the focus point which is this particular point now the question is saying the diagram shows a person attempting to measure the focal length of a lens and they are saying which distance is the focal length of the lens is it this x no is it this y yes is it this z no 
सो बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर इन दिस केस बिकॉज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फोकल लेंथ इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर एंड द फोकस पॉइंट ऑफ ए कन्वर्जिंग लेंस इज नोन एज the focal length so in this case that definition is satisfied by b so b is the answer now let us turn our focus to the c part the fourth part there is a diagram the diagram shows an object placed in front of a converging lens of the focal length f at which position will the image uh, be formed now you can see that the object is at 2f the image will also be at 2f so it will be at this position because this is f and this is the second f so b is the correct option in this because we have studied the characteristics of this converging lens when we place an object on the 2f the image will also be at 2f if you want to learn more about these scenarios then check my previous lecture in which we discussed these phenomena in greater detail let us turn our focus to question number 5 the image formed on the film of a simple camera is now we discuss in the last lecture this a is the correct option because camera is always and we discussed that in great great detail this camera is providing the real inverted and diminished image remember my these words so you have to keep in mind whenever it is camera is concerned then the image will be real inverted and diminished we discuss these things in the previous lecture now let us turn our focus to the structure question and the first question in this regard is saying that uh, what do you understand by the term focal length of a thin converging lens so let us write the definition here the distance the distance between a uh, optical center and the focus point of a thin converging lens is called focal length now in these both cases this is denoted by the optical center c and this is the f focus point now the distance between these two points is known as focal length which is denoted by a small f now there is a picture of a tree when the camera is taking a picture of in so it will be a real image in this case after passing many processes 
it will be a rect one although at the lens it will be inverted but there is a mechanism which is making this image as a uh, erect one now the main purpose of this diagram is to show the object distance and the image distance so between here and this this is the focal length of this image which is focusing this tree on the screen there is a screen of this camera and they are creating this image so uh, focal length is the distance between optical center c and the focus point f now the b part of question number 1 is saying that describe with the aid of a ray diagram how you can use such a lens as a magnifying glass so remember that we are denoting this straight line and it is denoting a lens which is labeled as l there is an object this one and we know that one ray will go from the top parallel to the principal axis and it will be bend it towards this focus point and the second ray from the top will pass through the optical center without any deviation and this will be the image this will be the image which is denoted by f now you can see that the image is an enlarged version of the object so in this way we can use a convex lens uh with the aid of a diagram uh as a magnifying glass so magnifying glass you know that always showing the object in larger proportion uh as to the image i drew it on a piece of graph paper for you people myself and then i took the image of it and placed it for your convenience so that you can understand the phenomena clearly okay now we are turning our focus to question number 2 and question number 2 is saying draw separate diagrams showing a converging lens being used number a a camera lens to produce a diminished image now when you are creating an image which is a diminished one so you have to put it away from 2f double of the focal length this is single focal length and this is the double focal length and the object which is this one is beyond 2f now in the ray diagram we understand that one line from the head of the object will go parallel to this principal axis and will pass the converging lens and that will be focus and will pass through this f which is this point the second line will pass without any deviation from the optical center and wherever these two lines meet each other we have to connect that with the principal focus now you can see 
that in this particular case the object is larger one as compared to the image so when this scenario is taking place we are saying that the image is a diminished one now if we want to use a convex lens uh, to produce a diminished image then we have to put the object beyond double of the focal length of that convex lens in case of camera similarly in the second part they are asking a projector lens to produce a real magnified image so you know that the overhead projectors are used to make the small text or pictures or graphs or any digital media is enlarged one on the screen so we have to put between the f and 2f as we have this f and 2f so there is an object which is this one and from here one parallel line will pass through and it will be diverged and we will extend that line after passing the focus point the second line will pass without any deviation and you can see that there will be enlarged image of a small object so that is the second scenario and we are using this scenario in case of the uh, overhead projector so that was the whole story about the second question now let us uh, do question number three and the question number three is saying that a converging lens is used to project an image of a slide now slide is a transparent sheet on which we were writing the uh, text to be shown to the large audience so here they are saying that onto a screen thousand millimeter from the lens now this is the lens and this is the screen and this screen must be at thousand millimeter from the lens so we have to create a scale and that scale will be uh one one small square one square will be equal to 50 millimeter so uh 20 square will be equal to 1000 millimeter and if you count the small square from the lens till the screen then it will be a uh, 20 small square so that is why we wrote it as the uh, 100 millimeter now further the question is saying which has a focal length of 200 millimeter so focal length is here and because this is 50 this is 100 this is 150 and that will be 200 account according to our scale so this will be the uh, now further the question is saying the size of the image is 250 millimeter 50 100 
वन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सो दे आर सेंग दैट दिस इज टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सो नाओ वी हैव टू पास वन लाइन फ्राम दिस साइड एंड आफ्टर टचिंग द लेंस इट वेल बिकम पैरल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस विच इज दिस वन सो द सेकेंड लाइन वेल पास थ्रू दप्टिकल सेंटर विदाउट एनी डिविएशन सो दीज टू लाइन्स आर मीटिंग एट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस सो वी कैन फाइंड the uh size of the image but in the first point they are saying uh, first part by means of a scale drawing determine the distance of the slide from the lens so if this is the slide which are going to be enlarged on the screen after passing through the uh, converging lens then the distance is 50 hundred uh, 150 200 and 250 so in this case we have written the distance from the slide of the lens is 200 50 mm after drawing a scale diagram now the second part is saying the uh, the size of the slide so the slide of this uh, the size of the slide is a bit above the one small square so that when we calculate it 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 will be this is equal to 60 mm this is 60 mm when we make it with the sharp pencil you will see that the distance will be uh, uh 60 mm how there is a small square this so there will be five more 1 2 3 and that will be the four and fifth so the line will pass this first horizontal small line because that square can be further divided into five more squares so this line will indicate that it will be 6 mm uh, 60 mm not 6 mm 60 mm it is because one small square is 50 mm and the above one will be so in this case the size of the slide is 60 mm now let's turn our focus to the fourth question which is easy one figure shows the position of a lens is indicated by the straight line they means that this is the lens which is indicated by a straight line uh the lens is converging lens so this lens is converging lens it is written in the question okay they given us this is the principal focus principal focus the middle line so they are saying complete the figure to show the effect of the lens on the incident ray shown mark the principal focus of the lens with the letter f so let us do that it will bend towards a point 
which will be this one and this line will also bend towards this point so we have to denote this point as the focus point and there we are labeling it with f now you can do that on a graph of paper so that you will be able to take a correct reading of that my job is to tell you how to do it so they only wanted us to label the focus point now that's it ladies and gentlemen for today tomorrow we are going to do advanced level questions on the uh converging lens so these were the intermediate level questions not that much advanced not that much basic level question so we learn how to apply our knowledge in this case in tomorrow's lecture we will move one step further so be with me have a nice time allah hafiz